Hey everyone, so I have a story for you. A couple days ago, shortly after I arrived in LA, I went to an event that one of my friends was having. He DJs, I DJ with him sometimes, and had an amazing time. I stayed until roughly 2 a.m. and one of my friends wanted to come back with me and see the truck. So we came in talking and in order to create space in my truck, I put my bike outside and locked it up. And so we're talking and then I hear something. And so I'm like, hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, okay, we can continue. So I continue talking about 30 seconds later, I hear metal clinging. I say, hold on, let me go check to make sure nobody's trying to steal my bike. So I walk out and I see two guys on bikes taking apart my bike. So I walk up, I'm like, yo, that trying to steal my bike? And they're like, oh, oh, no, 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 we didn't, no, no, here you go, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I'm like, that put my back my tire was off handlebars were off and my seat was gone apparently there are pros at this literally i was in the truck for no longer than 10 minutes before this happened so he puts my tire down he gives me my tire my front tire and what he did was they basically just cut the cable the kryptonite cable that was around my u-lock so the back tire was locked up to the pole but the u-lock i mean the cable attached to it was just sliced like butter so that was on the floor. My tire was in his hand. He gave he gave me back my tire. I checked the bike once over to, to see what else was, what else was missing, and my seat is still missing. And I'm like, "Where's my seat?" They're like, "I don't know. I don't know." They're like, "We we don't know. We you know." I'm just like, "Where is my seat?" And he's like, "I don't know. I don't know." I was like, "All right, nobody's going anywhere until I get my seat." And so I grab his back tire and hold it there and kind of lift it up a little bit, you know, like, so he, he can't have his footing on the ground. So I kind of lift up the back tire a little bit. And he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. And his, his boy gave him the wrench to take off the seat and he handed the seat to me. I was extremely angry and they could tell. And after he gave me my seat back, I calmed down and I was like, look, I'm out here doing something to help you get off the street. They were homeless. I could, I could tell and I talked to them after, but I said, I'm out here building, building something to help you get off the street and not be homeless. And you guys are out here trying to steal my bike. This is my only method of transportation around the city right now. And I need this. I say, so when you when you do things like this, it makes me not want to continue doing my work. And I said, there are people that care about you and there are people that want to see you succeed. I'm one of them. So you can't do things like this. And they apologized profusely. And, um, you know, I got their names and I shook their hand. And, you know, they, they just apologetic and they said, thank you. You know, we, we appreciate how you handled it. And I said, look, if you run up on the wrong person, you guys might have been laid out over some some bike parts. I said, it's not worth it. And they again, they thanked me. And, um, you know, I told them to have a good night and be safe. But I've never caught anybody in the act of stealing from me. I've I've, I've seen the results of theft in my life. I've been robbed um, a few times over the course of my 35 years, but I've never seen it actually happening. And so that was a new experience for me. And I don't get angry very often about anything. I'm, I'm, I'm chill. I'm a, a calm energy person. So um, one thing I'm grateful for is that I, I am able to be conscious enough to check myself and breathe and bring down my level of anger to, you know, say, Vaughn, this can go one of two ways. You can get into an altercation with these two, these two men, or you can try and use words to talk and see if you can get through 
to somebody. And I chose words. I'm a believer of communicating and that most things can be solved with communication. However, I'm not, I'm not naive enough to think that all altercations can be or, or encounters can be solved with communication. Sometimes it doesn't work and you have to protect yourself. All I'm saying is if you have the opportunity to talk to somebody and you have the opportunity to be humble and and hopefully make a change in somebody's life through words, do that first. If somebody doesn't respond and your physical being is is your physical person is being attacked, then you protect yourself. But you know, my bike is 300 or so dollars. If something went wrong, you know, like it wouldn't be worth my life over my bike. Um, however, I I did a quick assessment of what was what. Anyway, um, yeah, choose words when you can. And always try to de-escalate. So, today's my birthday. I am enjoying this time. And uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day, month, year. Get done. Make it happen. Peace.